celebrity number seven is none other than Mark Beretta. Mark, or Barretts as you're more affectionately known. For those people that uh, don't watch television, tell us a little bit about what you do. Okay. Uh, I do sport on sunrise in the mornings. I do some 6pm news sport in Sydney. I commentate from the pit lane for the VH during the year. Um, I just do as I'm told, basically. So, yeah, it's good. But this, for me, this is a dream come true. I actually couldn't believe it when I got the phone call because all my life I've watched this race and I've watched James Tompkins and Steve Bradbury and, and all the greats of Australian sport have a crack at this and it's all I've ever wanted to do. So I am so pumped. Well, you're 10 times Australian water ski champion. Do you think you can be the Mazda 6 celebrity race champion? Absolutely, especially if it rains. I'll be okay. I think in the wet I could have an advantage. Now look, there's some serious contenders in there. I mean, I've, I've been doing a bit of research and Sir Chris Hoy, um, not only is he Great Britain's most decorated Olympian ever, but he loves cars, like that's his big passion. So he is a red hot race car driver. He's coming here to win. I know he's working closely with Jensen Button, but the Australians have Mark Webber. Um, and I just think we, we can't let a Brit take away our title. Um, so Chris, you're one of my all-time heroes, but when you get on the track, all bets are off. It's game on. Game on, absolutely. Smack down at Albert Park. You spend so much time around the world of, mo around the world of motorsport and you've even taken pen to paper. What, what is your favourite motorsport and why? Oh, gee, it's hard to say. Look, it's hard to beat the glamour of Formula One. I mean, Formula One just has this, this, this pinnacle thing. Um, for tight, exciting racing, V8 supercars for me, absolutely love them. Um, you know, the, the guys are great blokes. When you get to know them, you know, you spend so much time with them, you can't help but want to follow their careers and see how well they're doing. So um, at Grand Prix weekend, I'll be watching in awe of the Formula Ones and I'll be down and dirty with the V8s as well. And I can't wait to rub shoulders with the crew in these in the Mazdas as well. Game on. You've spent so much time around such great people and great drivers in the world of motorsport. What's been the best piece of sporting or motorsport advice that you've been given? Oh, I don't know if I should reveal it because probably Sir Chris Hoy and Anamirs are going to watch this, but um, Mark Larkham, a guru of Australian motorsport, told me that the secret to doing well in the celebrity race is come into the corners, gently go out hard. A lot of people make the mistake of firing into the corner, lose their momentum and their speed, and then they, they just can't make it up. But you've got to go in under control, power out of the corners. I've just given that away, haven't I? Now everybody will do it. It's okay, I think... Uh I, I, like I rate your chances. Thank you. And uh, we Can't wish wait. you the best of luck. Can't wait to see you on the track. Well, bring it on. When race day starts, we are going to be going hard. The car's great. The circuit is magnificent. For most of it, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. So we just can't wait to get out there and, and have a good race and well, win. I love the confidence, Barretts, and uh, that's where it all starts. Thanks very much. Bring it on. <laughs>